Cinnamon rolls is one of the common sweet bread for afternoon tea or coffee, and it's best when baked fresh. I'll share my recipe for a fluffier cinnamon roll, which is extra enjoyable to eat. Let's prepare 2 and 3 fourth cups of flour. One half cup sugar, one half teaspoon salt. These are the dry ingredients. Then pour three fourth cup of milk, three tablespoons of butter, and two and one fourth tablespoons of yeast. I'm using fresh yeast, and this is 50 grams, so I'll use half of this. I'll heat it under the fire in a very low temperature and stir slowly allowing the butter to melt. Now take note that the only temperature that is allowed in this is only up to 25 degrees Celsius. Beyond that or above that, the yeast will die. You can also put it in a microwave oven but I feel I have more control by doing this. You can actually add the yeast later as well once the mixture is lukewarm already just so you can really check the temperature to secure the yeast. The reason we're heating the wet mixture is to activate the yeast to give our dough a good rise later. Then I'm adding one whole egg into the wet mixture. Then pour it in the dry ingredients and start mixing. If you don't have fresh yeast, it's totally fine to use active dry yeast. However, there's a difference when it comes to the dough rice. I noticed that fresh yeast works best, but again, both works. Now I'll be mixing it together, and if you have an electric mixer available, then you can use it. And then I'll knead this for about three minutes. So this looks good already and let's flatten it out. Let's make a flat rectangular shaped door. Okay, I'm happy with this and then preparing the filling is the next. I have about 3 tablespoons of soft butter and then just spread it over the dough. Then prepare one third cup of brown sugar, two tablespoons of cinnamon powder, and then mix it together. 
and then spread it evenly on top of the butter. Once the dough is fully coated, roll it lengthwise. Then start cutting the roll to make small rolls. They should make about 12 to 13 small rolls. Line baking sheet in a baking pan and put it inside with good distance allowing enough space to rise. Now if you're living in a tropical country or it's summer season in your area, you can just cover this with a towel or a foil then leave it just about 60 minutes to rise. But me, since I'm very cold here now and I want my rolls to fully rise, I'll put it inside the oven, setting it to 50 degrees Celsius. This will allow the roll to rise perfectly as how I want to. And let's check after one hour. Wow, perfect. This is how it looks now after 60 minutes and it's a success. This is how it should be. I'll take it out and I'll set the oven to 190 degrees Celsius and then put it back and let's get back later. Now after 23 minutes, this is how it turns out. The color is perfect and the cinnamon fragrance is now all over the place. Let it cool down for a little bit as I'm preparing the icing. Just simply add cream cheese around three tablespoons and then one tablespoon of soft butter, two third cup of vanilla sugar or confectioner sugar, and then just add vanilla extract. Then I'll mix it with an electric mixer. You can also use a hand mixer. Then I would like to add some lemon zest. So, all is good now. Then I'll put it on top of the rolls. I don't want too much icing here, so just a little is good enough for me. Fluffy.